Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. Our plugins are some of the most flexible and useful ways to control who can access what on your WooCommerce store. One Publish Press user asked us if it was possible to allow a WordPress user to edit only a single WooCommerce product. The answer to that is yes with the Publish Press plugins. I'm going to show you how to set up a user role that you can use to closely restrict what users can do, and then we're going to give them access simply to one product. I have a bunch of products already set up on my demo site here. Penguin bobble hats, a big penguin hat, some penguin t-shirts, and some penguin socks. And in this example, we're going to create a user and a user role and give them access only to one of these products. To make this work, we need the Publish Press capabilities and also the Publish Press permissions plugins. We need both of those installed on our site. Once you have that set up, and once you have WooCommerce ready, go to Capabilities in your WordPress admin menu. And what we're going to do is duplicate the subscriber role on this site. Subscriber is a really good role to work from because it has a very limited set of permissions. So we're going to choose subscriber and in the copy subscriber role box, I'm going to type in single product editor and I'll click on copy. Now we are editing the single product editor role. One quick thing we need to do is give this role access to the WordPress and WooCommerce admin. By default, WooCommerce will block most roles from access to the WordPress admin area. Under add capabilities, I'm going to type in view underscore admin underscore dashboard. And this will restore the normal WordPress behavior of allowing users access to the WordPress admin area. If I scroll down, I should be able to see view admin dashboard as a checked permission that is available now to my new single product editor role. Okay, I'm gonna click on save changes. And now what we're gonna do is go to the users area and we have a user called John here. I'm going to edit John and I'm gonna put him into the single product editor role. So he's going to fill the role that I have just created. And what I'm gonna do is test this account quickly. I have a plugin installed which allows me to quickly test different user accounts. You could open a new browser window or log out and log in as this user. And so this is what John can see at the moment. I have put him into a copy of the subscriber role and that has almost zero permissions. So that's what we're starting with. What we're going to do now from this very basic start is add permission to edit one product. So I'm gonna go back to my main admin account and I'm going to go to products. And I'm gonna select one of these products. How about we go with the penguin bobble hat? I'm going to click on edit and I'm gonna scroll down. And at the bottom, there's a new box that says enable custom permissions for products. I'm gonna check that box and click update. And if I do, I should be able to go down now and see a whole bunch of different options. Read is for the front end of the site to see who can actually view this product on the front of the site. And that's not quite what we need. We're talking about editing. So I'm gonna focus on the edit this product box. So there's a couple of ways in which we can approach this. We can either give access to edit this product to the whole of this user role. So anyone who is in the single product editor role can edit this product. If I wanted to do that, I would simply choose enabled in that situation. 
or I could click on users and search for John. And I could give John permission specifically to edit this product. So there's a couple of approaches here. Either you can give the entire user role access to edit this product, or you can just give one single user or multiple users if you add more here, access to edit this product. In this case, I'm simply going to give John access, and then I'm going to click on update. Let me go back to my user area. I'm going to switch to John. And now if I log in as John, I now have access to the products area and I now have access to edit the Penguin Bobble Hat product. Remember earlier, there was at least five other products in this area. Now, as John, I'm logged in, I can only see and only edit that one single product. That's how it's done. That's how you allow WooCommerce users to edit only one single product and also restrict them from accessing any other part of WooCommerce and WordPress. So this is done with Publish Press capabilities, Publish Press permissions. Both of those are available on WordPress.org and you can get more advanced features with better support on PublishPress.com. Thanks for watching. We wish you all the best with your WooCommerce store.